Verse 20. Then Peter, turning about, seeth the disciple whom Jesus loved following, which also leaned on his breast at supper, and said, Lord, which is he that betrayed thee? Peter, seeing him, said to Jesus, Lord, and what shall this man do? Let's pause. We usually want to gauge our standing with God by looking at other people. That's the tendency, the natural tendency that we have is to gauge our standing with God by looking at how God relates with other people. A number of times we see how, you know, God is interacting with someone and we believe that we are different. That God does not have that kind of affection towards us as he had towards somebody else. Look at verse 20 again. Then Peter turning about, seeth the disciple whom Jesus loved following. Is there any disciple that Jesus does not love? I'm asking a question now. Is there any? But how come they have placed that uh, signature on John that Jesus loves him? As if he doesn't love any other person. But Jesus loves us all. So we look at a pastor, for example, and say, definitely God loves him more than he loves me. There is no measurement of the love that God has for any one of his children. He loves us equally, every single one of us. There is no special thing about us. Each one of us is loved equally. I want you to understand that today. Equally. There is no weight. The fact that he's giving attention to one person might mean that he has something for that person to do more than the other. But it doesn't mean that that attention is to stamp on him a greater love than on the other fellow. Which also leaned on his breast at supper and said, Lord, which is he that betrayed thee? Maybe because it was him that God told. But we know that it was actually Peter who actually asked, who is it that is to betray him? But Peter did not ask openly. What did he do? He nudged John to go and ask. So let's, let's take that as a, as, a, as, as, as a caution. Because I find many people behaving as if God does not love them. If you are a born again child of God, you are loved as much as he loves Jesus. You can be the one who can be running away from him, but he loves you. Peter did not appreciate that fact. If God did not, if the Lord Jesus did not love him as much as he loved John, what was he doing coming to eat a meal? Why would he be asking him to feed his lamb, feed his sheep? 